But I got thinking about some stuff. Uh, when I was, my dad, the reason he wasn't drafted was he worked for World War II. He worked in a shipyard helping build those Liberty ships. And um, he was a welder. And I forget what he called himself, it was something. But he was making good money. But this was in Norfolk. We lived in Norfolk. He worked in Newport News at the shipyard there. Which Newport News and Portsmouth and Norfolk's all right there together. And there's a big Navy base there and all that stuff. But, uh, uh, but we lived in Norfolk. And we lived in a housing, uh, I couldn't call them apartments. I mean, usually there was one building and it had three. Well, it was my, I guess it was apartments. It was called Broad Creek Village. And you can Google Broad Creek Village and you can see what they looked like and how they did things back then. Uh, but we lived at, uh, 1331 North Woodlawn Avenue. I, I ain't never going But it was a big development and it was government housing. And uh, that's where people that worked in in the government and stuff and was in the Navy, that's where they lived. Uh, I only went to school there a couple of years. But our place was right at the corner of this development, right almost on Princess Anne Highway. I imagine you can Google that. Yeah. And we was right there at the corner and the railroad tracks was 500 feet from our house. And my mama used to get so upset, she'd be out there hanging out She'd do a wash and she had one of these machines that wasn't like an automatic machine, had a ringer on it and all that stuff. And she'd get her washing done and she'd be out there on the clothesline, uh, hanging out clothes to dry. And all of a sudden, here come one of them big old, uh, let's see how many, I think that thing had I think it had hey, eight hey. drive wheels on it. It was a huge open. I think they called it a big boy. And here that sucker come ringing that bell and blowing that whistle hey. and belching all that big black smoke out of that stack on that thing. And cinders and stuff falling on her clean clothes that she's trying to drive. Uh, boy, that thing was huge. There was a gate there 
and the gate wasn't automatic. There was a little shed thing sitting on it like a big square pole up in the air. The man had to climb up in the on a ladder to get in there to work. And he'd be on duty there and he'd be lowering the gates with some kind of crank and cables and stuff. And uh, the one man we knew was Phelps, Mr. Phelps. And, uh, but uh, across that track down the road about four or five blocks, there was a supermarket or market. It was called the open air market. I don't know why they called it open air market because it wasn't outside, it was inside. And Mama used to send me over there on errands, you know, to get like a loaf of bread or or uh, uh, something else to milk. We didn't get milk at the store. Them, the milkman delivered the milk in bottles and set them on the porch and pick up our empty bottles. And but we never got more than two quarts at a time. Uh, same thing on the ice. Our refrigerator wasn't electric, it was just a nice box and it had a compartment up top that you set a block of ice in and that's what kept the cool air would go down in the bottom to keep the stuff cold. Couldn't freeze nothing. And uh, the ice man would come by a couple times a week and you had a card about 8 by 10. And on one edge it would say 25, the other edge across from that it would say, uh, let's see, how was that? It was 25, 75 at the top, and 50 at the bottom, and 100 pounds at, at uh, no, 50 at the other side, and 100 at the bottom. And if you wanted a 50 pounds that day, a uh, block of ice, you would turn that card where the, the 50 was upright, you know, and the others was off to the side or the bottom. And that's how you tell the ice man could tell what you wanted. And I don't, I forget what mama was paying uh, for those, for those blocks of ice. Uh, and we heated with coal, had a coal stove in the house. Uh, but she used to send me on errands to that open air market. And one day I went and she, it was a, she had a charge account there. And she'd send me and tell me that if she'd send me with the money or she'd tell me to charge it. And she sent me like that often, you know, charge it. <laughs> one day, <laughs> I, seen, I was at the market and I was getting a loaf of bread and I was getting it ready to check out and I seen this toy thing and it was a board that would bounce up and you could do, do a handle on it and it would bounce. And it was this monkey on like a puppet or something up above strung up. And you could bounce that thing and that monkey would just dance and everything. <laughs> and I just had to have that. I guess I was probably eight. And yes, he sent me to the store across them busy lanes at eight. Hell, at seven even. But I had to have that. <laughs> And I'm not charging it to me. I wasn't aware that charge it meant you got to come back and pay for it. <laughs> and I'm thinking, well, that thing's free. So I, I told him I want that and charge it. Ah. And on the way back home, I got to thinking, I might be in trouble, so I hid, I, I kept it hid. And I had, I played with it every once in a while when nobody's looking. But one day they come in there and tan my hide. 
because they had to buy that thing and I don't remember what it was. It might have been a dollar, it might have been less than a dollar. I mean, this was 1948 and 49. <laughs> Stand my hide and took my toy. I never seen it again after that. <laughs> I had to have that little sucker. But that's, that's back in the day and that's before my mom. Of course, my mom and dad wasn't separated and divorced then. They, they didn't, that didn't happen until 1951. And I'll, I'll probably get into that on the next video. It's, uh, back when I was younger, I didn't think that was something to be troubled about. But it seemed like the older I got, the more more trouble it seemed to me and the more traumatic it was. Uh, anyway, that's my GoPro story. I, I went and got a loaf of bread and bought the dancing monkey and well I charged the dancing monkey and got my high tan good. Back then they used belts, man. They don't I I'm just not a, I don't like to spank a child. I like to punish them, but not hurt. I don't like to hurt, physically hurt them. Uh, I, that's just me, you know, I ain't gonna get into that. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Uh, I'm still playing with this this uh, what is it called? I done <laughs> I done forgot <laughs> I don't <laughs> uh, well let me think a minute uh, it's called oh a Dragon Dragon Touch 4K it's got all things about it I like but the audio is not that great. But mostly I'm gonna be taking still pictures, some uh, you know, custom thumbprints and thumbnails and stuff like that. And um, I may, uh, I, the battery's not lasting long. I know that. Unfortunately, I have two, but I don't like having to change that thing. I, I like my GoPro because it lasts longer. And, you know, of course the GoPro can put more features and better stuff on there because they're getting $200 and up. Some of them's $400, where this one's 49 I, I tell you what, though, I expect that uh, there's so many of these companies coming out with these GoPro wannabes that there's some going to keep come out that they're going to get better and better and still be cheaper. I, I'm saying within the next year, there's going to be an action camera out there that's going to be as good as a GoPro, but half the price. I would, I, I would say that. Mark that down. Listen to what I'm telling you. There's going to be a good action camera out there for all intents and purposes is going to be as good as the GoPro, uh, but for about half the money. In other words, this GoPro I use now, that was $209. And I would say I could get a camera that's just as good as that later on that, that for $100. I would almost say it. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, write that down on your calendar there. One year, what is this? Uh, next July 4th, you'll see that. I mean, this, this this technology, it moves so fast. So fast. Anyway, see you in the next video. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>